Hi, I'm Dr. David Ramoyne, a director of the Medical Genetics Institute at Cedar sinai Medical Center. I'm here to tell you about an exciting new program that we've developed for the Persian Jewish community in Los Angeles and hopefully be able to take this to other Persian communities throughout the world. First of all, uh, there are many genetic diseases present in individuals and each specific ethnic group has its own set of conditions. For example, in Ashkenazi Jews, Tay-Sachs disease was one of these. In the Persian Jewish community, we found four diseases that are prevalent in the community that can either be treated, eliminated, prevented, or avoided. And we want to be able to eliminate these conditions from your community. To tell you about this and how the whole issue of prevention of genetic diseases in different ethnic groups started, I'd like to introduce my friend and colleague, Dr. Michael Kaback, who is the inventor of the Tay-Sachs Disease Prevention Program. I'm Dr. Michael Kaback, and I'm working closely with Dr. Ramoyne here at Cedar sinai in the development of this very, very special, unique, and new program directed to the Persian Jewish community of Southern California. The reason for this program, as Dr. Ramoyne has pointed out, is that with advances in medical genetics, it's now possible to identify individuals, and more importantly, couples, at risk for genetic diseases, which can now be either treated effectively, prevented, or avoided entirely. And the four diseases which Dr. Ramoyne is going to tell you about fall into each or one of those categories. Now, how did this come about? Well, it came about because advances in medical and human genetics now enable us to know that certain individuals in certain groups of people carry certain traits that other groups do not carry. There are genetic traits in almost every group on the planet who have lived in relatively isolated uh, communities, either geographically isolated, religiously isolated, or for whatever reason, uh, tended to reproduce together over many, many years and many long periods of time. These conditions are relatively unique to each of these groups and different from each of the groups. And so, such is the case for the Persian Jewish community. If we move back a few years, that's exactly the circumstance that existed for Tay-Sachs disease a genetic disorder, very serious and fatal genetic disorder of infants of Ashkenazi Jewish heritage, that is European, Eastern and Central European Jewish background. About one in 30 uh, American Jews who have ancestry from that region of Europe are carriers of a trait for Tay-Sachs disease. Being a carrier is of no consequence. We all carry between five and 10 of these what are called recessive traits. They are genes that have no, absolutely no influence on our health or our longevity, but they may influence our reproduction if, by chance, we reproduce with someone who carries exactly the same trait that we do. And that way, there's an opportunity for a trait from one parent and a trait from the other parent to come together in a double dose of the trait in a baby. And that's how cystic fibrosis, sickle cell anemia, Tay-Sachs disease, and a number of the diseases that Dr. Moyne is going to tell you about occur. It is because of the uniqueness of the disease, the fact that we can identify carriers of the trait, and therefore we can identify couples in which both members of the couple carry the same trait. That enables a couple to either prevent, treat, or avoid disease. If you don't know you've got the trait, it's still a possibility that you could have affected children. If you do know you have the trait, and your spouse also has the trait, there's a way to treat, prevent, or avoid disease. So Dr. Ramoyne is going to tell you the specifics now about the disorders in the Persian Jewish community.